Um, hi guys, not me in a pink robe, um, but I just wanted to come on here and talk about my hot topic for this week, okay? Um, hot topic for this week is interesting because I'm learning a lot about how um, the death of one thing can be the birth of another thing and there's a scripture in the bible and jesus talks about unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies there is no har harvest right and i'm really learning in this season my honest open and transparent learning is that um there are a lot of things that need to die and will die for you to become there are lots of habits that you will need to kill friendships that will need to go um and even mindsets that we have maybe grown up with that will just need to leave you will have to make room for a new emerging reality and it's really funny how um in birth there is um scientific research that says that giving birth is as close as a human gets to dying. Um, in Yoruba, there's an adage, I'm not gonna say it in Yoruba, the king who burns down his palace will build a more beautiful one. And in essence, I, I love that saying because um, although things might die, although what is beautiful or what seems good um, may have to burn to ashes, after that, there'll be an opportunity to be, build something even more beautiful. And I encourage you that whatever has to die is a doorway into life, is a doorway into a new life, into something beautiful. Like my hot topic for today is literally me coming to like an aha, realizing that a lot of things, in order for them to be reborn, in order for them to be beautiful, would have to come to a death, a form of death, maybe a death to a mentality or a way of thinking, a death to a self-perception of myself, a death to bad habits, a death to certain relationships or connections, a death to doing things a certain type of way. And when those things die, there would be a birth of something new. Um, it's really painful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's painful. Um, there's something really beautiful about counting the cost and knowing what the things you want is likely to cost you. You know, when you're going to go shopping or if you're going to sit down and buy a house or make any kind of investment, you're going to say, okay, how much is this going to cost me in reality? And I'm, I'm doing a lot of weighing up right now um and it's been like really sad and really beautiful at the same time and there's like joy and peace present because i know that becoming my next version is going to take extreme willingness to advance myself but it would also be beautiful that's my hot topic